Hi guys, my name's Luke. What we're actually going to do today is take you through the first stage of the assembly training. And you can see here that we have a selection of the FlexCube building blocks here. So on my right hand side, we have our two variations of the flex beam. We have a flex tube. We have a couple of other tubes that we use in standard builds for our carts. We have our flex cube. And then we have a few of our standard flex plates, which help put everything together. Now, what I'm going to start with is actually our flex beams that we have here. So we have two variations which need to be pointed out. So we have the first one here is the flat end flex beam. Then the second one, we have the uh, standard flex beam. And the reason why we have two variations is because occasionally we need to be able to create a matchup in the interface. So if you take two of the standard flex beams and line them up so, let's move this way, then you take a flat end flex beam you're actually able to line them up like this and get a 90 degree angle. Now, one of the other attachments that we can build on from this is that we can actually add a flex tube attachment like this and create a whole other type of joint. So this is how we're able to create the uh, wide variety of cards that we have at the moment using the majority of these is the flex beams. And this is our robust, most robust part that we have in our collection. The second building block that I'd like to point out is our flex tube. Um, and this can be used for a wide variety of things. It can be used for hangers. It can be used to help guide and help the material stay within the cart. You can also take these extra tubes here and this creates a telescopic slide like so. So this gives you a little bit more variation, a little bit more flexibility in how you actually create customized carts for your customers. This is our flex cube. Now, this is one of the original couplings or interfaces that we had to help keep all of the attachments together. So you can see behind me that we have a wide variety of attachments, but they all have the patented flex cube concept interface put into these. Now, the reason why we focus so much on the number seven is because we actually add in seven centimeter increments all through these. So it's a little bit easier to see here on the flex cube, but you can also see it all the way along the sides here are the flex beams as well. Now, here we have a variety of the flex plates that we have here. And you can see that once again, they also come with the patented interface here on the parts. Now we also have a half flex plate here. So this is just a way for us to make it easier to put all of the parts together and outline these in an easier way. So you would add them like so, and you can create an attachment. All right, guys, so that was a quick summary about the different types of standard FlexCube building blocks we have. In the next few videos, we'll show you uh, the different types of attachments or the joints that you can make with some of these building blocks that we have here. Thanks very much for watching, guys.